The jury now has to decide for itself what state of mind Rockefeller was in the day he kidnapped his daughter. He claims seven-year-old Ray reached out to him telepathically that day, asking him to take her away from her mother. In the defense's closing arguments, one simple sentence said it all. This is not a man playing with a whole deck. Attorneys told the jury Clark Rockefeller suffers from delusions and wasn't in his right mind when he kidnapped his daughter last July. A man who once posed as a rocket scientist, a cardiovascular surgeon, who even claimed to be mute as a child. In fact, regained his speech at one point when he saw a dog and his first words were woofness and that broke the spell. I mean, what woofness? You see him descending into a madness. You see completely irrational action. But the prosecution, who calls the defendant by his real name, Christian Carl Gerhardt Strider, says he's anything but insane. Don't let him get away with that. Don't let this insanity defense be the culminating manipulation in a lifetime of lies designed to try to get what he wanted. Don't shy away from the facts. See the truth before you. Hold the defendant criminally responsible for his actions. As the jury deliberates for a second day, contemplating if he's crazy or just a con man, former prosecutor Beth Karras says the insanity defense will be a tough sell. That he was so crafty and able to fool so many people for three decades, I find really fascinating. And Rockefeller now faces up to 10 years in prison for his charges. And Robin and Chris, what will he call himself if he does go to prison? I asked the lead defense attorney, who does he think he is these days? He said he still believes he is Clark Rockefeller. Andrea, thank you so much. That tells you something right there. Yes, it does.